In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil. This is Barbershop de los Muertos and the Feather Artist Club Shavette Style Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as you might have noticed, I'm not at home. I'm uh, visiting my mother to help out uh, post-surgery. Uh, and so today we're going to be using the... Well, you've seen it. I'm going to show you the splash first because I'm just going to go ahead and put some on right now because this is a great scent. This is Barbershop de los Muertos. And uh, this is an outstanding scent that is based on, I wrote it down here, Armage, or oh, Amoge, Amage for Men 25. It's got Roman numeral, so I'm guessing that means 25. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. <laughs> I am dreadfully behind on comments and watching videos and I've just gotten very busy and traveling and anyway, I'm behind. I promise I'll get to it, but let's talk about this. So again, this is uh, referred to as uh, BDLM, just shortened version of that. And it is fantastic. Awesome uh, artwork. The base is on the back. This is the Kodiak base. Really, really nice. Um, I used this in my unboxing and I really, really enjoyed it. The price for this is $22.99 for the soap for four ounces. And normally this would be on our cost chart, um, a pricey price, but considering that Murphy and McNeil, if you buy these soaps, doesn't charge for shipping, that makes it to me at least a fair price uh, if I were to show that to you on my cost chart. So I think if you knock the shipping off, this becomes much more reasonable and it's reasonable as is. And honestly, um, it comes to $5.74 per ounce on our cost chart, again, which would be pricey. I would buy it at that price, <laughs> even without the shipping thing, because I just like the soap and I think it smells great and I just really like it. This is a collaboration with uh, John Perry, which is, there's his logo, and uh, Chicano Designs, which right there is there logo and of course Murphy and Mc, Murphy and McNeil made it the ingredients on this we'll show them to you right there some good ingredients we got duck fat goat's milk cocoa butter shea butter there's a lot of good stuff in here your dragon tallow your super blue emu your chupa copper oil this is a good performing soap um, in my view in terms of the base the scent we'll put it for you right there the profile it smells great I can tell you that so let's go ahead and get started because I got a lot of things to do and I'm already running behind a little over 24 hours growth today. Just gonna mist a little bit and then we'll get going. Uh, I brought this time for travel my Ariana and Evans uh, brush to use. A synthetic is very good for traveling just because they dry out so quickly and you don't have to worry so much about the care. And so I think they're always a good choice for travel. And quite frankly, I think they're a good choice all the time. Um, as I was saying before, I am dreadfully, dreadfully behind on comments. Uh, I got down here yesterday and, you know, I was visiting with my mom and trying to help. Um, as I mentioned before, my brother and uh, sister have been helping and now it's my turn to, to help out. And I'm really glad to be here and hope to be of assistance and I'm working also. So very busy. So I apologize for not getting back to your comments or being able to watch videos. I just literally don't have the time right now with everything else I'm having to do. So I apologize in advance. Let's get going with our Feather Artist Club blood. And for those of you who don't know, you pinch right here and that blade drops in. The Artist Club style blade, I'll go ahead and show it to you real quickly, is like this. You can go back and watch my latest Hawk video, Razor Rock Hawk, if you want to see the, what they look like relative to a DE uh, blade. But essentially, you pinch this razor and pop your blade in, and there you go. So I did not bring it straight this time because I didn't feel like bringing the strop and having to, you know, do all the maintenance because I knew I was going to be a little more pressed for time. So this is where are these razors, in addition to being very smooth shavers anyway, I think really shine in that you can just use them and go, you know, rinse them off, set them aside. You don't have to worry about drying them off uh, as much. Still, I dry these off. You know, I try not to get water up in the, 
the pin or the pivot. And I do use care, but they don't require the level of care that straight razors do. So for me, that is a good thing. And that's why I'm uh, using it today. I'm not using the water here because, or I'm not rinsing. I would normally rinse this, but the knob here is so difficult to turn on. It's one of those pull knobs that it's a pain. And so I figured I would just wipe this off. I prefer rinsing it because wiping it doesn't get it quite as clean. Let's go ahead and rinse it this time. There we go, not too bad. It's hard to control the flow, so I don't want the water splashing back up towards the top of the razor. That's why I'm wiping it. And I'll probably just do two passes today, or maybe two and a half. Because again, I'm, I mean, more, oh, I just, I just made an error right there, putting the plate to my face. And I can tell you right now, memory line city right there. And that's what happens when you're trying to rush. There will be a line, I promise you, right there. When you rush, you mess up. <laughs> so I can feel it and it will be there, believe me. The question is whether it will appear before the shave is over. And that's my fault for rushing because I really don't have a lot of time to get the shape. I wanted to, and I really wanted to, to use the soap. So let's get some, a little bit of moisture going here. Yep, you see it right there? That might be a good one. I could really feel that one. But totally my fault, not the razor. Um, by the way, this soap goes on sale um, Friday. And let me put a slide up there for you. And I hope you will enjoy it. I really like it. I definitely put my <laughs> thumbs up on this soap. I'm not gonna put my thumbs up on this shave because I just made a stupid <laughs> mistake. So I'm gonna have to probably get the styptic out to, to fix that problem. But we'll go ahead and try to do a against the grain pass and it's hot in this bathroom too. I'm telling you, today is just one of those shaves. It's like, ah, I should have just waited until I had more time, but I wanted to try to squeeze it in and we pay the price. And that's what you get for rushing. So don't do what I do. Learn from my mistakes. And I would say you can learn from my mistakes on many things that I've done over the years, not only today with the memory line there. Again, coming in too hot. I tell you all the time, don't do that. And I do it. And it's because I'm in a hurry today. But We'll just continue to press on. I'm gonna to try to shave around that because that one is not gonna be pleasant to work with. So we'll see. That's probably a decent one that's gonna be around for a while. And I call it a memory line because it serves as a reminder to, to mind your technique. No fault whatsoever, the soap. The soap quality is outstanding. Um, I've used Murphy you know, before and it is excellent stuff. Let's see if I can get a grip there because I don't have my towel. I am just not prepared and I'm rushing and that is not a good thing because I'm not Dave Card <laughs> using one of these shavettes and I require more time. And because I'm not taking the time, bad things happen. But I can tell you right now, good things are happening with the scent of the soap. <laughs> so. Where that is concerned, I'm very happy, but I'm not happy with that memory line. Yikes. Let's get some more moisture going here. And let's do just a little bit of a cleanup. This one is not one that will go down in history as a great shave. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good cut right there. And, you know, please use this as an example of what not to do. You know, using that this type of razor when you're in a hurry is a bad idea, unless you're Dave Cart, and I'm not. <laughs> and so I'm in an unfamiliar environment. I'm hot, as you can see, sweating. It is very hot in this bathroom compared to mine, and uh, I'm trying to rush at the same time. But mainly, I wanted to show you the soap and let you know that it is fantastic. The scent, the quality, all great stuff in my view. All great stuff. Very nice. But you normally don't see me this hot. 
because <laughs> it's hot upstairs here. They keep it a little warmer than my house, and so I feel like I need another shower. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to get this. Once I've committed to the shave, I'm just going to finish it up. I've been trying to stay away from that cut. And this is one that in terms of the soap and aftershave, I love. Not my best shave. <laughs> Whoo, is it hot? Look at that. Whoo, whoo, whoo. It is hot in here. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back and I've got the travel alum here. And maybe that one isn't quite as bad as I think. Um, I haven't had to use the styptic yet. Let's moist, let's get a little hydration there. Apologize for the rush today, folks, but I just don't have as much time. And uh, I paid the price from being <laughs> careless. And my mom and dad are like, what in the mess happened to you? I'm like, well, I was rushing. You don't want to do that with a, uh, really any type of razor, but especially not like these, because they will let you know if you don't respect the blade. And I am not. Tell you what I do respect though, this. This is awesome. And I think you're gonna love the scent. It's really popping scent strength, a good, I'd say 6.5 to seven. Beautiful scent, I'm loving it. Let me rinse, we'll hit with the splash and then we'll bring this one to a mercif merciful close, <laughs> stay tuned. All right, and we are back with the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel, and I remembered to bring it this time. Ah, a little bit of that might cool me down a little bit. So that that's a definitely a plus. Today, I haven't hit, had to hit that with the styptic yet. We'll see. Oh, but I promise you tomorrow, you will see a, a line right there, what I call a memory line. And so, look, take these videos like this as a lesson. Don't do what I do, which is rushing with an open blade. Terrible, terrible, terrible idea. I did it anyway. You pay the price. <laughs> so, we're going to finish off with the Barbershop Delo. Let's just put it this way. B-D-L-M, instead of me trying to st say that and stumble, stumbling over it when I'm in a hurry, not a good thing. But the scent is a good thing. And the set, tomorrow I'll use the other soap um, that was released, part of this series. Wow, that smells fantastic. This is an absolute winner for me. Um, I absolutely love the scent. Second time I've used it, man, it is a banger as far as I'm concerned. I hope you will enjoy it too. We used the Orion and Evans brush. We used the Feather Artist Club style razor. We were not careful. We paid the price and so, you know, let that be a lesson. Don't do what I do sometimes. <laughs> All right, I wanna thank everybody for joining. I want to remind you, it's gonna take me a while to get to your comments. I'm just far busier at the moment, but I will get to them. And for those of you who I can't catch your videos, I apologize. I'll try to catch up at some point. Until next time, I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.